Have you seen this film, The Peaceful Warrior? It's the relationship of a young gymnast and his unlikely strange mentor, Socrates. Now, there is this part where a very frustrated Dan screams at the old man saying, I know more than you think, to which Sock retorts, you think more than you know. Stopped me in my tracks, just like Dan in the movie. How true is that? Most of the issues we have in our life is because of this thinking, thinking, being in our heads. And that is the topic of this episode, how to stop overthinking. If you're my returning viewer, I thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. And hey, if you stumbled upon my channel, welcome. My name is Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Here, every week I share my tools to create a happier life and a happier world. Light on. We are constantly thinking of all the things that can go wrong, of all the ways in which you are not capable, of all the little worries, all the big worries. Our minds go whir, whir, whir. And I believe that if we could harness all that mind power, we could light up the entire world. Now get this. We realize when we have overeaten, right? We know when we are so tired that we can barely move and we say, I'm overworked, but we never notice when we are thinking too much. There's never a point of overthinked in our heads. I know, I know, most self-help teachers and books tell you to shut down the negative thoughts and focus on the positive thoughts. And it sounds like good advice. With all due respect, it's just a load of BS. Because the truth is, too much of anything is not good. And when you overuse your brain, it gets clogged and leads to foggy thinking, bad decisions and sometimes action paralysis. Life is full of decisions, starting from tiny things like what do you wear today to big ones like do you leave this deadbeat partner or your toxic job or move cities or countries? And instead of using our thinking like a tool that it is, we believe that we are our thoughts. The thing is, we all have the ability to know what to do in any situation. And for that, we need to drop into our hearts and listen to that quiet voice, which is different from the clamor of the brain, which was what Socrates was referring to. We think we know, but really we don't. Reminder number one, overthinking never leads to any insights or better decisions. Have you noticed that? Neither does it guarantee you that you will be 100% right all the time. All it does is delay your actions. School, college, moving in with someone, changing career paths. None of these actually turn out the way you imagined. And that's good because you never know how anything will turn out until you experience it. Overthinking also comes from the fact that the ultimate result is going to be the most correct and the rightest and never ever it will change decision. Hmm, how often has that been right? Have you realized that we indulge in this when we have plenty of time, especially in the night where you terrorize yourself with your thoughts? When we are busy or we are doing something that we are fully focused in, we really don't have any time to think. So one of the ways is to really tire your body out so that when you fall into bed at night, you don't even have the energy to think. I know you have heard this many, many, many times, but mostly, we are overthinking because we are coming from the past fears, reliving the past or from future anxieties. You know, in one of my first jobs, I had a very driven, demanding boss. He was a bit of a bully too. And I remember this incident where we were all having lunch and this man throws open the door and asks one of us interns, did you do what I told you? And she trembled and stammered and said, no, but I thought, I thought. And he interrupts and says, don't think, just do. Today, with hindsight, this is my sincere advice to you. Don't think, just do. Only action brings clarity. Now, I'm not for one second suggesting that you rush into decisions or situations without thinking, though I've been known to do that too. However, you definitely need to limit the time that you think about something. So here, I introduce you to a tool from my toolbox. <laughs> This one is called the time bomb. So here's what you do. Set a timer for five minutes and give yourself that time and permission to think, worry, 
analyze or whatever you want to do. Once the timer goes off, set it again for 10 minutes and now write down on a piece of paper or in your journal all the things that are worrying you, all the things that are stressing you, all the things that are giving you anxiety. Let it drip. Now when the 10 minutes is up, throw the paper out and move on, preferably to something fun. Know that overthinking has its roots in fear that you're not good enough or hardworking enough or smart or talented enough. And know that these decisions are never going to be perfect. They are not always going to be right. But the only antidote to this poison is action, my favorite word. Thinking is a tool and like all other tools, use it when you need it. You won't keep drilling holes in your wall just because you have one, right? Sometimes all you need to do is distract yourself with some happy alternatives. Dancing, running, meditation or even playing with your dog can distance you from the issue at hand and shut down that overanalysis. My favorite is coloring mandalas. The more stressed I am, the more intricate the design I choose. We often make mountains out of molehills and we need to recognize that. Sometimes the answers are simple if we only take the time to listen. If you need help with working on this issue, do connect with me. Yes, I am an expert at getting you to kickstart. Don't forget to leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your perspectives. And if you know anyone who needs help with this issue, do share this video. Let's spread the light, folks.